Well, as we welcome you back to Inside, last week the seniors stopped here at the TPC of Tampa Bay at Cheval for the GTE Suncoast Classic, where they had a truly great field. 30 of the top 31 money winners were here. The week got off to a rousing start when last year's Player of the Year got together with a man who's already won this year in a playoff to rub elbows for a really worthy cause. Ladies and gentlemen, on the tee, current senior PGA Touring star, J.C. Sneed. J.C. was there, and so too was his uncle. This must be some occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, on the tee is a living legend and an all-time great from the world of golf. Please welcome Mr. Sam Sneed. Well, I had a friend, uh, Buddy Pike, asked me to do this, and uh, I think he was going to be here, too, so he's, he's a good friend of both of ours, so it's for a good cause, so it's Monday and day off, so here we are. Like the Sneeds, other professional athletes take time out of their busy schedules for a good cause. The Senior PGA Tour raises millions of dollars annually for charity. But that grand total does not include all the money raised by individual senior players for their own pet projects. And last Monday at Hobe Sound Golf Club in Florida, professional sports figures were all too happy to participate in the first Athletes Against Cancer golf tournament. Anytime I make car, I got a smile. But the smiles were bigger on the kids of the event's beneficiary, Rock Camp, which stands for Reaching Out to Cancer Kids. More than $60,000 was raised for the camp, a place where kids with cancer can just be kids. And the big kids liked it too, because their donation not only helps a worthy cause, it also allows them to rub elbows with sports elite. Besides that, besides that, he's already won the award for the best dressed in this group. He's totally with the group that uh, he's playing with. He's uh, just an expression and an uh, exemplary of his uh, well-known personality to have a lot of fun when he gets out there to play and everybody does enjoy it. And it was one of the greatest thrills that I've had been with him today. Get that car! <laughs> Oh, I pulled it. <laughs> man, watch the ball, man. Don't look at me. I don't want to take any credit for being here. I mean, this is something that we do. But for J.C. to be here and Sam Sneed to be here and Joanne Coroner and, and all those other people, I mean, it's, uh, it's really great uh, for them to come and, and take a little time out of their busy schedule. But uh, I'm enjoying it. This is the first time I've ever hit this green uh, right here. And you missed the whole thing, man. Look over there. It's just a great <laughs> event, really. Um, it's on a wonderful course, and, and uh, to uh, help out the Athletes Against Cancer is, is just terrific. I'm glad I'm in the area and can help out. I don't know what the final number will be, but it's a good start, and it will go toward sending those kids to camp where they can have a normal day like we've had today. That's pretty difficult for them, so that's, that's what the proceeds of this tournament will benefit. Jim Cott, a good friend of mine, is uh, heavily involved with this, and he asked me to come out and play, and it's been a wonderful day. Raised some money for uh, a good cause here in Hope Sound. February 13th, they gathered in Hope Sound. Next week, a charity event will take place somewhere else, and all who participate must be commended for taking the time to care. Time. We're very happy to donate our time, our facilities, and thanks for the support of people like Joanne Conner and Lee Trevino and the rest of these fine athletes who came today gratis. It's not hard to imagine the joy it brings. Because of all the generous support and time donated, these charitable events make a difference in the lives of those in need.